Hello guys and welcome to my channel. I am Cody the Coin Raptor here to provide you the best crypto news, information, and chart TA that I can. So let's start off with Bitcoin for today. All right, so Bitcoin has been kind of crazy today. Not really bullish per se, but a little crazy. So I have the um, one hour chart here for Bitcoin currently. And what you can see here is that we made a, a very strong bounce yesterday near this 20,000 support. And then it, it bounced off and it, it kind of did basically what we call um, a dead cat bounce. And that's just essentially when, when an asset falls super fast and makes this steep, steep dive. It, it oftentimes has a recovery bounce. And that's often called a dead cat bounce. You can see here we have a double top and that's two tops one top two tops we have two tops here so double top here at about twenty three thousand, and so that's going to be a hard level of resistance right here so what we saw here is that there is a, a pretty massive amount of resistance right here there are a lot of sellers up here as soon as it gets pushed up uh, the sellers come in they step in and it gets rejected and comes back down again so it's it's very very close to testing support again at about 2000 20,000 ish 20,000 this whole level here which is the recent low so i would expect that given the fact that it it was rejected so hard and it had made that double top i expect that it's going to come down and retest 20,000 and if you can take a look down here at the open interest and again open interest is basically all of the futures and option contracts that are currently open it's been increasing during the down slopes you can see here so that tells me that there is more shorts being opened as well as some longs that are being trapped and you can see here again it's increasing and we can see that it's probably going to come down here it's going to retest 20,000 I'm not sure if it's going to break it but right now it's looking very bearish and the support looks very weak and if we have yet another day like today uh, in the market where the, the Dow sells off and the NASDAQ sells off and the S&P 500 sell off, then that could potentially be enough of a catalyst to push it through this 20,000 level of support here. But I'm going to be watching this. I'm going to be currently waiting to see whether or not it'll pass through the support. And, uh, from the, and then I'll just basically go from there. If you guys are interested in that, check out my Twitter. I'll be uh, following this and looking for a reversal. And so you may ask yourself, well, what does a reversal actually look like? Well, let's take a look real quick at the reversal signal that we got back from about July, this time last year. You can see, again, on the daily we have here that there are multiple green days. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten green days in a row that right there is a very strong reversal so what you're looking for is multiple green days in a row and that will give you your reversal signal so i'll be again i'll be watching for all these things on my twitter account and on youtube and as soon as i see them i'll make sure i point them out to you guys so going back here to the hourly i expect that again bitcoin's looking very bearish right now it's looking the sellers are currently taking over now, also, let's go ahead and take a look at the ETH charts. ETH doing the exact same thing here. And I, I pushed out on yesterday, I pushed out this range of support. Let me see if I can find this again. This range of support here. You can see here, this box. I still expected it's going to be within this box. Again, the bottom part of that box is about 900 or so. And the upper part of that box is 1379. So it could definitely push through this 900 level if it does expect that you're going to find support at 800 and then maybe even below that at 700 again i'll be watching this and seeing if we can get a um a reversal on this and so not much going on for eth eth is falling bitcoin as it usually does i also want to go ahead and bring to you some very important crypto news that i found over the day starting with one of the things I talked about yesterday, which is the three arrow crypto hedge fund. So this is really important, guys. This Financial Times is covering this crypto hedge fund three arrows, and basically they failed to meet this lender margin call. So 
uh, whenever whenever you have these margin calls, they are going to be forced to liquidate assets that they have in order to meet margin calls. And this failure to meet to meet this margin call it is not a very positive sign at all for Three Arrows Capital. So this is a story that I've been following. It's going to be something I'm going to go ahead and and keep you updated on. But the biggest issue here is that much like Celsius, which also is having liquidity problems, if Three Arrows goes under, that could also provide a massive amount of selling pressure on the crypto market. So you want to go ahead and, and look out for these. Multiple institutions are bound to fail in these bear markets, and you should be aware of this. Next, I want to talk about the this report that I came across. Uh, Texas and other states open investigation into Celsius's network following the account freeze. So again, this is something I've been talking about recently, but Celsius paused withdrawals on their platform. So Celsius is a crypto platform. You deposit, you deposit crypto, and they give you a certain percent APR or APY um, for depositing it. Basically, it's an earn account. So back on the what was it? The earlier this week, I think it was the twelfth. They, yeah, June twelfth. They paused the ability to withdraw. So people who had crypto on the platform could not withdraw it, and that has caught the attention of many of the states. And the states are now pursuing investigations. And Celsius, which is actually based in New Jersey, New Jersey is one of the states that that is actually going to be filing um, these lawsuit these um, these investigations. And we'll see what happens. And we'll see what comes of this. But the fact is, more of these platforms that prevent users from withdrawing their crypto, you expect to see much more regulation come in and, and many more um, bills get put through Congress and at the state level to try to protect people who thought these were safe platforms for earn. And it turns out uh, during a bear market, not so much because they've been gambling with the with the customers funds and, and now they don't have the funds when people try to withdraw them so this is another story i'm following and again this whole all of this stuff adds pressure to selling so it adds fear uncertainty and doubt to the crypto community all right now let's end this on a positive note let's end today's video on a positive note this is kaleo on twitter and he put out a really important chart here that I want to pay attention to. So he says, here's a bit of hopium in the midst of pain. Bitcoin's cyclical bottom was 780 to 880 days after each of its previous halvings. So if you'll notice, Bitcoin has these cycles and these cycles of halvings, and it's every f four years. It happened in November of 2012 and July of 2016 and May of 2020 and then March uh, projected to be March of 2024. And he highlights here that it follows a cyclical nature. So it's just a cycle that repeats over and over again. And, and this cycle is that there is a bull market from the start of the halving, and then the bull market fades from there. So again, it starts, bull market starts, and then it fades, and then it starts again at the start of the halving, and then it fades. And this is just part of another cycle. We expect to see that it will follow the exact same cycle. He says it's been 766 days since the 5-11-20 halving. So uh, before that, that would mean to me that it's probably going to be about two weeks to two months or so, maybe more, until it bottoms out, according to this model. Okay. So you can see here, probably a little bit more pain coming before it winds up bottom, bottoming out. And this is a logarithmic, a logarithmic support curve right here is what's, what's being depicted here. So it's just something to keep in mind. Again, Bitcoin's in the middle of its cycle, and we would expect that if it's following this cycle, it's, it's on schedule to follow the cycle. And so what that means is that before the next Bitcoin halving and about March of 2024, we'd expect that that would be the beginning of the next bull market. Okay. All right, guys. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for your time. 
If you liked any of this content, let me know. Please like and subscribe and follow me. I would appreciate it. This is Cody the Coin Raptor, signing out.